Welcome back in. It is coming fast and you better be ready for it. We are talking about the solar eclipse on April 8th. Yes, you need these. Much of Northeast Ohio, as we know, is in the path of totality. Yeah, get them right now. But to enjoy it, you must have your solar eclipse glasses. News 5's Nadine Abasada tells you how to make sure that they're safe to use. For more than two decades, ICS laboratories have tested PPE. We are accredited by the American Association for Laboratory Accreditation for our competence to test certain test methods. But with April 8th coming fast. We are testing multiple, multiple stuff like daily, weekly. It's, it's crazy. They have spent months making sure solar eclipse glasses made by other companies meet ISO 12312-2 standards. We test to make sure that enough light doesn't pass through the lens so you're not burning like your retinas when you look at the sun. So each pair of glasses goes through a number of assessments. This uh, has a bunch of beams full of light and it measures what, uh, how much is being passed through. To ensure that when looking at the sky, this very, very bright white light is almost representing the sun. That little light? Yes, that little light. The right amount of light can get through. It's too dark. Normally people think of solar eclipse glasses, they're like, oh no, is it going to be too light? There's actually reports where we've gotten where they've been too dark. Once ICS is done with the testing, the company gets a report stating if they meet the standards. But how can you tell if the glasses you buy are safe? If you have a pair of those that don't say ISO 123, 12-2, it's probably not safe. Just don't use them. Aside from checking the labeling, first buy from a credible place. So a lot of high volume um, sales platforms that would carry solar eclipse filters usually require that a seller would have you know, evidence that their product meets the applicable performance standard. Second, put the glasses on. I should not be able to see anything. Right? No. So you cannot oh, see. I'm in the dark. Right. You cannot see my hand in front of your face. No. And third, use your phone. Yes, you can use your phone flashlight and shine it through like the back side. So it's trying to through this side. So as if it was their sun, you could barely see. All so you don't hurt yourself trying to see the once in a lifetime moment. You do not want to go blind for looking at something as fun as a solar eclipse. The American Astronomical Society also has a list of vendors with solar eclipse approved glasses. Reporting in Brunswick, Nadina Busada, News 5. All right, so that list can be found on our website, news5cleveland.com. And believe it or not, the solar eclipse is just 45 days away. And counting. Here we go. <laughs> we are ready. We were just making sure ours were, yeah. were good to go.